Hello, my beautiful friends, my name is Maria Khoreva and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are doing a ballet class, a feel-good ballet class that is going to consist of a bar, of a full bar and a little bit of center combinations. So, recently I've posted a video of my masterclass in Russian and Japanese that I gave to Japanese students. And thank you so much, you guys, for your amazing positive feedback on that video. But of course, a lot of you wanted a class in English. So that's what we are doing today. And also, during my vacation that I had recently, I realized that I really started enjoying doing ballet class to the fullest, not like I used to before. So before I used to think that ballet class was kind of a struggle, kind of hard, of course, because it is. But at the same time, your body warms up so nicely when you are doing ballet class. And after you have finished with the bar, you feel like you can do everything. You can go on with your day and you feel energized, you feel warm and you just feel nice. So I'm so ready to channel that positive energy with you today and the combinations are going to be pretty easy or it's going to be like pretty chill and very standard but at the same time it's just a class that I've been doing similar things during the vacation and it's just a normal class for me on my usual day of working or non-working. So yes, let's just hopefully enjoy spending some time doing what we love, doing the most in our lives, doing ballet, doing ballet class. So I hope that all of you guys are loving that the most, <laughs> joking. Anyway, so um, doesn't matter if you love it very much or not. Just let's spend some enjoyable time and uh, probably I should stop rambling and start doing something already. So we are starting today's class with the warm up facing the bar. So let's go. First position facing the bar combination, very simple. We go front to front and first and front. And plie and front and pour le plie and stretch and close. En croix, so each direction, this combination. Tendu, close. Tendu, plie. Tendu, pour le pie, and close. To the back, the same. Tendu, and tendu, close. Tendu, pour le pie, and then we close the first position and we go pour de bras to the right and three and four. Pour de bras to the back and three and four. Repeating the same thing to the left. So, tendu, tendu, plie, tendu, pour le pie, and close. Side, back, pour de bras to the left and pour de bras to the back. And then we go, and a one, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a fifth, and two, and a three, and a four, and side through the second position, and close, and plie, roll the bay, rise up, and close. Four tendus, first position, four tendus, fifth position, and through the second deep position, we transfer and we do plie, Relevé, rise up and heels down. So I'll be telling you the combination along the way. Let's start with the music. First position, please, guys. Starting slow. And one front. On one. And on one. Front and plié. And front and pour le pied. And stretch. Close. The same to the side. Just warming up. Feeling the floor with your foot. Working on resistance. To the back. Turn out. Shoulders down. Nice and tall. Pour the bra to the right. Shoulders down, elbows to the side. Pour the bra to the back. Starting to the left. Show me your arch every time you do tendu. And plie. Feel the floor, heel front. To the side. Nice plie. Shoulders down, stomach in. To the back. And plie, knees to the side. Open the knees every time. Pour the breath to the left now. Long right arm. And to the back. And four tundus, first position. Four tundus, fifth position. 
close tight every time. Try. And through the second, slowly. And change the leg and plie releve. Heels front, shoulders down. And to the left, four tundus first. Now four tundus fifth. And transfer through the second position. Feel your muscles and close first. And plie releve, rise up. Stretch the knees, pull up and finish. Good. Now for the demi plie. Doing the standard combination, I do it every day. Not changing anything, first position. Starting with demi plie and demi plie and grand plie and three and four. For the breath front and two and three and four to the back, opening second position. The same thing, two demis. One grand plie, three and four. For the breath to the bar, for the breath from the bar. And three and four, fourth position. Two demis, one grand plie, four pour de bras. Articulating the back, showing the beautiful arms here. And three and four, closing fifth position. Two demis and grand plie. Arm goes from the up, from the third position and pour de bras. Front and to the back. So every time we do pour de bras, we try not letting our legs, you know, relax. We are still holding the position very tight. So, for example, we do not go back with our pelvis, with our hips. We are holding the nice fifth, nice fifth position in the legs, stretching the knees and keeping the turnout. So keep turning out the thighs, the calves, the feet, the butt area. So turning out everything while you do pour de bras, this is very important. This is really helpful for the center and for the dancing. So let's do plie, just two demis, one grand plie, one pour de bras each position. Let's go. Shoulders down, nice soft arm, one demi. Knees to the side and grand plie following the hand with your eyes and nice pour de bras. Keep holding the position and the turn out in your legs. Go up using the muscles and to the back. Hand your second, good. Shoulders down. Soft arm to the bar. Now that's always the challenging moment for me to do the port bra from the bar and not fall. Okay, almost successfully. And fourth position. Okay, guys. Abs in. And grand plie, both knees to the side, especially the back knee. Nice fourth port de bras in the arms. Soft and gentle. Holding the nice positions at the same time. Close fifth. Knees to the side. So the legs are working, but the upper body is free. through the third position and pour de bras. And to the back. Elbow to the side. Let go of the bar. Close and finish. Good. Now let's do to the left. First position, please. your elbow to the side, not stuck to your body. Always keep some air in between your elbow and your body when you are doing all sorts of quarter bras. 
to keep your arms nice, wide and long. Two dummies. Always try to stay tall during the plie. Try to still rise up. Fourth position. Do not roll in your feet. All of the surface of your foot should be staying on the floor. Both knees to the side, careful here. And the porta bra. Body stays straight. And only the shoulders are twisting. And fifth position. Doing the plie only down, not to the back with your hips. Straight down and up. And beautiful quarter bra. Tight hip position, don't forget. And to the back. Show the third position in the arms and finish. Nice. Okay, so now for the tendu in the first position, for our first Bahan tendu combination. We go, and three, and four, and tendu, and front, and tendu plie, and tendu side, tendu plie, and one, and to the side, and to the back, and plie with the arm here and close. And one, mm -hmm. everything on the down, plie, side, and side, plie, back, and side, and front, and plie, close the arm. It's so gonna be the first part of the combination, then the next part, starting the same. And one, and two, plie, and one, and two, plie, and front, and back, and front, and back, and plie, then we run, and Two, tendu. And the same thing on and off. One, <laughs> and plie, side, and side, plie. Now back, front, back, front, plie, dummy round, and two, tendu. All right? So for the balancer, for the passe parterre, what I want you to feel is to really feel the floor with the foot and really feel like you're opening the hip, this area, the thigh, every time that you're going to the back and front, we go front with the heel. Okay, so two tendus, tendu and tendu plie, tendu, tendu plie, en croix. <laughs> plie with the arm, closing the arm, hand down with the arm. <laughs> plie, <laughs> side or back, side, front, plie. And then the second part, two tendus, two tendus, passe par terre, passe par terre, plie, and two tendus. Okay, so stand tall on the standing side, on the supporting side, shoulder a little bit down. This area always, always, always turned out and try even maybe letting go of the bar at some point. So it's very important that you stay on the supporting side, not like really trying to hold onto the bar or going here, just on the supporting side, like on center. So, okay, let's do the combination. Preparation and slowly and plie now to the side, stand tall and on crua. Feel the floor tall on the left side to the back and plie with porta bra. Close the arm, go under down, stretch your knees and show the arch every time. Plie side. Arm croix, opening the thigh. Plie, close the arm, second part. Plie, knees to the side, good. Long necks, now passe parterre, through the first, open the thigh. 
Now plie heel front and two tandus. Close the arm. Last time. Un plie. Good. Now back and front. And plie demi rond. Two tandus and finish. Nice. Let's go to the left. Now concentrating on the right side. All right, prepare. And open the arm. I know this time you might seem a little bit boring, but it's really useful if you concentrate and working with your muscles. It's my favorite combination. Tanzu first position is my favorite ever combination. Now plie with the arm. Show the upper body, close the arm, arm to down. Two tandus. Heel stays front, plie. Tall back, do not sink down. And en croix. And front. And plie, beautiful upper back. Going with the second part. With the arm. Plie directly down. Stand tall. And feel the floor now, balancoire. Demi rond, two tandus. Close the arm. And plie. Plie demi rond. And we are finishing. Pull up through your stomach and through the top of your head and finish. Okay, so I'm sure all of you guys are familiar with this, but the ballet corrections might seem really absurd for the people that do not do ballet. So like pull up, grow up from the center of your stomach through the top of your head, like what the nonsense. And currently I'm reading the book Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by Douglas Adams. And I'm feeling kind of a lot of parallels because his writing is really absurd but at the same time very very scientific so i love the combination and for ballet people as well like the corrections for those who know them are really scientific and like physical but at the same time quite absurd for the people who don't know that so i'm just funny finding that a little bit funny so check that book hitchhiker's guide to the galaxy really amazing one anyway now for the bath mountain do in the fifth position for our second combination of Bahman Tanzu. And three and four we go. And one and two and three and four. A little bit more energetic and showing the foo every time, closing tight. So do not go after your working leg every time you do the Tanzu. Again, we're standing tall, only one leg is working. So we do one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and two tandus now change the leg but only just change the weight nothing else moves and we're changing the weight and a one and a two and three plie we go on to down and one and two and three and four and four tandus fifth position and a one and two and three and four and a one and two and three plie soutenu go to the left straight away so four tandus front four tandus side two changing the weight and two this leg stays turned out okay and three on croix and plie four tandus to the back standing tall four tandus side tight fifth position every time holding the arm and we go two and two front and one and two and three and we finish okay let's try this combination fifth position standing tall four to the side back and front and back and front to front two to the back on croix and plie, four to the back. Two 
two to the back. Change the weight. Arm crewwise to the knee to the left. Four front. Hold your arm. For me, it's always been a problem to hold my arm. So I'm trying to think a lot about it. To the back. Arm crewwise. Plie with the arm. Four to the back. Stretch the knee every time. Four side. Two to the back. En croix. And finish. Good. Okay, so now for Bachman Jeté. Kind of similar. And three and four. Starting with the four because I love doing consistent four movements. I don't know, this just makes me calm. Meditation. So three and four. And one and two and three and four. And two to this side and PK, PK close. So for the PK, PK. Not PK, PK. Very tempting, but no. PK, PK. Now only the leg is working. Try to make the leg free, but at the same time, to make the leg free, we need to stand on the supporting side. So that's important, let's keep that in mind. All is about the supporting side today, during today's class. So we go four, one and two and three and four. Two to this side and PK, PK, close. The same to the back. And one and two and three and four and two jetés and PK, PK, close. We go two, front, two to the side. So not changing and changing. Two to the back, Ch not changing and changing and PK, PK, close. PK, PK, close and PK, PK, close and four de ra. So that's all the combination, then we go on to down. We go four, jetés and three and four. And side, and side, PK, PK, close. Four, front, pas manger taste. Side and side, and PK, PK, close. En croix, two, one and two. One and two, and one and two, and one and two, and PK, PK, close. PK, PK, close. PK, PK, close, and finishing the combination. So, for the PK, trying to grow even taller on the supporting side and turning out the supporting leg. All right, and keeping the shoulders down, not tensing, but shoulders, try to keep them down and relaxed. All right, let's start with four jetés, two to the side, PK, PK, close. Let's prepare. Four front. Two side. PK, PK. Fifth position, to the back, four to the back. Open the right thigh. And two to the side, two piques. En croix, two jetés. To the back. To the side. And now pique, pique, close. Only one leg is walking. And to the back. And pour the bra. And to the back. Try to make the movement sharper. En croix two. Tight fit position. This is already hard a little bit. Keep going. And PK, PK fifth. And closing the arm, finish. Very good, guys. Breathe. And sit new to the left. And let's go to the left. Preparation. Four to the back. 
So the music is a little slow, but I usually like doing the bar slower because you, know, you can really work on turnout. So on four by two, and now PK PK close each direction. Shoulders down. And pour the breath. And then down. Stomach in. Don't do this. Stomach in. Going a little bit forward with the chest. Four to the front. Elbow to the side. Elbow does not sink. On croix to the tails. So if you're not familiar with the term, en croix means cross in French. So cross means to each direction. And finish. Very nice. Okay, now for the rond de jambe parterre. Rond de jambe parterre. This is already the combination where we can start dancing with our upper body. We can start you know, incorporating more softness into our movements. So, in the first position, and three, and four, and uh, one, and two, and three, and four, and round en plié, and round 45, and one, and two, and one, two, three, and run, run, and on the floor, and run, run, the jump, and prepare for the on the jump. Four slower on the jump right here. One and two and three, just warming up the hip and four. And on plie, this knee goes to the side on plie and turn out, turn out. And on 45, pull up, pull up and turn out, turn out. And one and two. And faster, faster, faster. For the faster, pulling the abs in. And up, and on the floor. And up, and closing. And we go fifth position, front. Two, three, four to the back. And two, and three, and four to the side. Two, three, four to the side. Two, three, four. And then for the rest, we'll just stretch the leg to the side. However you prefer, stretching the leg to the side and maybe letting go of the leg and holding it for a little bit. Just, again, for the bra, more so up to you, I'm just suggesting. So we go four and two and three and four, round on plié, round 45, and one and two and one, two, three, up on the floor and up on the dog. All right, let's start. Staying tall and four abs in round on plie four to five stretch the knee now two and three and two, one two three now run run the jump on the floor Run, run, run the jump and on the jump. And on plie, turn out the heel front on 45, strong abs and two and three, pulling the stomach in, shoulders down, keeping the smiles on and on the floor. And we'll run, run the jump. Fifth position. Nice port bra. Go up. Through going up. Now to the bar. Keep the turnout in the legs. And stretch the obliques. And again. The training of our balance here, not to fall. And just without music, 
stretch your leg. And let go of the leg for a second. Shoulders down, arms third position. Hold up, row tall. And finish. Good, guys. So when you're doing the rondo plie, again, try to stay stable on the supporting side. Not going like this. This leg, really hold it. Really hold it in this position where knee goes to the side. And then do the rond separately. All right. Let's start to the left. Wide arm. Four on the jumps. En plie. Stretch your knee. And in 45. Two and three faster. Point your toes and on a plie on 45, elbow to the side and two and then three. that I'm trying to tell myself so that's mostly like a thought process uh, being said out loud to you today so that's kind of an interesting experience anyway now for the Bahman fondue all right so we're gonna do and one fondue to the front and one to the back and one and front and double and side and one to the back and double and side and we're going to incorporate on layer and one two three and one two three okay <laughs> honestly i hate doing rondo on layer it's my least favorite combination at the bar and usually i really make myself do it separately but today, because it's a chill, enjoy class, I decided to do Ron Jaman Lair together with Fonji so that we don't concentrate on the negative things. Anyway, <laughs> so we go Fonji to the back, it's on the down. One other leg, inside leg. And one to the back and double to the side. And one to the front and double to the side. And one, two, three, and one, two, three. Very simple. So, one leg, inside leg changing. One, front, double to the side. One, back, double to the side. One, two, three, and one, two, three. For the on layer, stretch the knee every time. Straighten the knee every time. Show the beautiful line of the leg. So, one, and two, and three. And one little, little point for a single millisecond here. So one and two and three. And heel front, of course, one and two and three. Okay, and for the fondue, 
both knees to the side and heel front. Okay, so one front, one back, one front, double side, one back, double side, and there, and there, and there, and there, and there, and there, and under that. Okay, let's start. Front and back. One front. Stretch the knee and double left knee to the side. And back. Left heel front. Double. And three and there. And one. And two. And three. Start on the down. And inside leg. And back. And side double. Both knees side and front and double to the side three and layers two times and finishing good let's go to the left nice tall demi point every time and Front. Change the leg, but not going down with our hips. One front and double. And double to the side. Three on layers. Watch out for the banana feet. Do not sickle your foot. And on the down. Inside leg. Heel front to the back and one side. One front and double side. Abs in. Stretch the knee every time. And we are finished. Very good. Now for the frappe and petit baron. <clears throat> okay, so starting on the whole foot, one whole foot on the floor, again trying to work on the stability of the supporting side. And three and four, double front pk pk, double side pk pk, double front, double side, double back, double side roll away, and three frappe, and three frappe. Pay and petit bar. <laughs> and doing the same thing on the down. So we go. Double PK PK. Double PK PK. And on crew one. Double. To the back, to the side. Releve. Three fra pay. And three fra pay and petit bar. <laughs> With quarter bra open on the floor. And on the down. <laughs> <laughs> en croix, flexing the foot every time for the double frappe, pay relevé, and one, two, three, one, and two, and three, and petit bas one for the bras is going to be on the dos. Okay, so double pique pique, double pique pique, front and side, and back and side, relevé on and, and relevé, and frappe, 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 sharp, frappe, frappe, frappe. The T back mount with porte bras, leaving some air in between our elbow and our body for the porte bras. Nice and wide position. All right. Double back pique pique, double side pique pique. En croix, side, front, side, and one, two, three, one, two, three, and petit bas mount. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Finish. Whew. Okay, let's start. Double side, PK, PK, double front, double side, double back, relevé, three frappe, stay, three frappe, and short, and petit bas on the floor, on the dump, on croix, relevé, and petit bas Good. Now let's go 
to the left. And honey on the floor. Stay tall. Sharp movement. Real bay. Show the art. Nice border bra. For the pussy bum. Finish on the floor. Double back peak and be K. Good. And finish. Nice. Now for the adagio. Starting with the rond de jambe. Rond, rond de jambe. And one and two and three and four on the whole foot. Then on plie. And one and two and three and four. Now releve. Other leg. Developé. Through the first two. Arabesque. Ponche. Down. And three. Close to the front. And we go on the dump. Run, run, de jambe. On the whole foot. Run, run, de jambe. On plié. And développé. Arabesque facing the bar. Through the first position. Very important. Keeping the turn out here. All right? <laughs> and pour the bra with the leg in front of us. Do this to the back. And three and four. Finishing closing in the fifth position to the back. So we go. Rond de jambe on the whole. Foot three and four. Rond de jambe on plié. And two and three and four. Up to releve. Develope to the front. Do the first position. The arabesque and punche and two and three. Close in front, going under the front de jambe, front de jambe on plié, inside leg, arabesque for the first position, and port de bras to the back. Okay, let's go. And ground round de jambe quite fast here. And on plié. Shoulders down and double a pay face through the turned out first position and punche only going forward, not back with your hips. Closing front and on the down. Upper body still tries to stay free. Developate to the back through the first position, pour the bra to the back, heel front, a little balance here, and finishing. Nice. Oops, I told you guys to close to the back, but close to the front myself. Yeah, close to the back. Nice fifth position, finishing. All right, to the left, please. And turn down, developé, heel front, pointing the toes, and on plié, right knee to the side. Up to releve, développé, face, right heel front, point the toes through the first position, only forward, not back with your hips. Stomach in, do not bend too much. And hand it on. Turn out the heel. Keep the standing knee straight when it's not on plié. And double the pay to the back. Through the first turn out and pour the bra. Little balance. Elbows to the side. And closing foot, finishing. Very nice. Now for the grand battement. Okay, arm draw, simple. My favorite combination. Three and four. And battement, and tendu. And battement, and tendu. 
and a one, and a two, and a three. So this combination to each direction. We go by mom and tendu. This is meant to be an exercise for feeling how your leg opens and closes for the grand bâtiment every time. So we have to feel the floor. We cannot do this, you know? It's gonna go for the jumps, it's gonna go for the bed landings. So for the grand bâtiment, we are training this opening and closing of our legs. So, bâtiment and tendu. Grand bâtiment and tendu. And a one, and a two, and a three. Stay, stay. And to the side. So, grand bâtiment and tendu. Fifth position every time. And a one, feeling that tendu every time we do grand bâtiment. Then we go to the back, grand and tendu, front and tendu, and one, and a two, and a three. Grand and tendu, and grand and tendu, and one, and a two, and a three. And we will finish. Okay, let's prepare, guys. Keep your chest open. Now three. Feel the tendu. To the side. Grunt and tendu. Fifth position. Stretch the knee. Don't bend it. Try not to bend it. To the back. And tendu. Stay strong on your supporting side. And to the side. And three round back arms. And finish. Very good. Turn to the left. Open the arm. Pay attention to your food here, very important, so that the line is clean and beautiful. Three more grand bâtiments. Keep the body stable if you can. Turn the head to the profile. Three more grand bâtiments. Abs in, and the last one. Great job, guys. We finished the bar. Now I'm moving my bar so that it doesn't bother me anymore. We are just doing a little bit of center. So just taking a moment to breathe, just a little center to feel ourselves on our legs. Now anything fancy. We are starting with eight counts balance on passe. So whether it's on the whole foot or it's on demi point, it's up to you. But what I want you to do is I want you to feel on your leg, obviously, and I want myself to feel on my leg today. So it's a little bit hard with the studio lights here, but it's a challenge for me. Anyway, so we go. And one, and two, and three, and four. And one, and two, and three, and four. And then we're balancing Alice going. And two, maybe on releve, and three, and four. And one, and two, and three, and four. We go. Développe, croise, and three, and passe. Attitude, croise, and three, and four. And to the left, one, and two. Balance, balance. Passe, change the pose, and one, and two, and three, and four. Balance, passe, balance, passe, balance, all the second, balance, all the second. So, croise. For the croise positions, please hold the arms, hold the nice port de bras, and also hold the turn of your head. So, it's really comfortable to stay like this, but no, it's apple mon croise. So, it means we turn our shoulders, and we look slightly profile to make the pose beautiful and finished with our head. And then we do the attitude croise, the same thing here. So not like this, not looking at yourself in the mirror, but trying to turn the head and trying to find that balance. Okay, so let's try with the music. Now 
up to relevate fifth position. Pass safe. Left leg. Or on the whole foot. Balance. Alas again, devil a pay. And left leg. And devil a pay cruise. Up to roll away if you can. And passe attitude. And left leg, devil a pay cruise. And passe to the attitude. And finish. Nice, guys. So feel free to repeat this combination one more time if you want. But now for the Bachmann and Dion Center, we're gonna do, again, it's not so much a combination, it's more so like an exercise to feel our legs. Anyway, three and four, everything on fast, keeping the elbows to the side, keeping the strong arms, keeping the nice posture. Three and four, and a one and a two, and not changing and changing to the back. <laughs> Not changing and changing. On crew are one and two and three and four and attention and one, two, three, four, five, six, stay, stay. So here really, you know, you can notice I'm shaking. I'll try not to shake when I'll do the actual combination. So only one leg, only one leg. <laughs> so two slowly, two slowly, two slowly, two slowly, and one and two, and three, and four, and one, two, three, four, five, six, stay. Okay, we'll do tanzu that way, and then we'll continue with the jeté that way. So again, one, and a two, and three, and a four, it's gonna be more challenging. One, and a two, and three, and a four, and a one, and a two, and a three, and four, and a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so we'll see with the tempo, maybe it'll be a little bit easier, but the idea is like this. Okay, let's try, let's challenge ourselves. Okay. Oh, the tempo is slower, which is good. Long necks. Stretch the foot every time. Now one time to side to the back and side into faster faster to the side and back and stay and to the left two tundras elbows to the side by one tundra fifth position every time try closing and faster one two three four five six Seven jeté. Keep standing strong on your supporting side. Turn out your left leg. En croix. And two. Woo! Last time to the left. To the back. Long necks. Don't tense up and on croix. And faster. And finish. Woo! That was really good. Nice job, you guys. Okay, so now for the pirouettes combination. Not so much a combination and an exercise. <laughs> it's kind of a torture of an exercise. This is useful. So, again, for our balance, let me find the right spot here. Okay, so we do. And balance, and balance, and three, and four. And pirouettes, two, three, and four. We go balance, and two, and three, and fourth position, and two pirouettes, 
three periods if you're feeling brave and three and uh, four and the next time we do a little bit differently we go and up and forth and roll up bay nice flexible legs so not like this okay control so we go up and with control roll up bay and with control and pirouettes fifth position and up down with control roll up bay with control and pirouettes with the nice first position in the arms all right, so balance, balance, and three and a four. Pirouettes, two and a three and a four. Balance, 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 and three and a four. Pirouettes, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. passe, and relevé. And pirouettes, two and a three and a four. Passe, and relevé. And pirouettes, two and a three and a four. All right, let's try. And pirouettes. To the left. Now faster. And to the left. With control. Again, you can repeat this combination a few times. I'll leave the time codes in the description box below for you to feel comfortable. And now for the little jumps combination, the last combination of our class today, about control yet again. Okay, first position. And one and a two and roll a bay and four. So one and two, not like this. I always do this myself. So on stage, when I'm tired, when my legs are like at the end of the variation, I always tend to do like something like this. Do not throw your legs. Always control the muscles. So one and the two and nice control plie and up to releve. And one and the two second position. Releve and four saute fifth position and échappé and échappé finish. And starting to the left. So two in the first releve. Two in the second, roll away, and four, so pace, fifth position, two at chape, and three, and a four. So one and the two, roll away, one and the two, roll away, four, so taste, fifth position, and chape, and a chape, two, roll away, two, roll away, four, so taste, fifth position, and chape, and a chape. Okay, let's start. <laughs> Releve, releve, four fifth position, échappé, to the left, releve, four in the fifth position, and we are done. So that is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for staying with me. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the class. If you did, <laughs> give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed already to watch more ballet related content. Let me know how you felt about this class today and what other videos you want me to make. Like, really, thank you so much guys from the bottom of my heart for staying with me, for watching my videos, and I don't know, I had a great time today together with you. Hopefully you did too. I love ballet and I love sharing my ballet experience with you guys. So thank you for staying with me. Thank you for joining me and leaving your feedback. That really means a lot. So anyway, thank you so much. As always, I wish you to stay inspired, to keep loving ballet, to keep enjoying this beautiful art. And I love you guys very, very much. And let's see each other in the next videos. Bye-bye, guys.